Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, we're in the third bay again. We'll be working on the truck shortly. Let's just go ahead and take you outside and show you what we're working on. What we're gonna be working on today is actually the firewall blanket. You guys can see that. It looks like something got back there and ate the uh, firewall blanket. And I'll be honest guys, that's been looking like crap for a long time. You know, between working on the turbo, the V-band, the downpipe replacement, all that stuff, that firewall blanket, was already torn before we started any of that stuff a couple years ago and now it just looks horrible. So what we're doing today is actually replacing that with a little bit of a performance, kind of an appearance upgrade and we'll show you what we got. So I went ahead and ordered the PPE firewall blanket, insulation blanket, whatever you want to call it. And this is kind of a similar material. So this has a thermal barrier on the back and the front is uh you know something it's it's woven it's not a fabric you know this is a woven product not like a fabric that can be easily cut or uh you know hit and uh hopefully this goes pretty smoothly there's gonna be a couple of pains that we're gonna have to deal with one being the air conditioner i do have full hvac in the truck and this cut out rectangular section over here on the left we're basically gonna have to take the it's not the AC condenser, maybe the AC filter, whatever the, the circular thing is uh, that's off the firewall. We're going to have to take that bracket off the firewall, pull that back, and then we'll be able to put that back on the firewall. I think that's going to be the biggest pain. And the rest of these are a mixture of 10 millimeter nuts as well as a plastic screw, because that's the best thing I can describe it. So we're going to go ahead, get started on the removal, and we'll show you what needs to be taken apart. All right guys, you'll see that we did get a chunk of the firewall insulation out. And you'll see some threads on the on this little stud back here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But it's the second stud, not the one up front, the one behind it. And basically what those are, it's a little uh, plastic clip. And I've got this uh, trim removal tool. I just put it behind it, put it behind the stud, got the plastic piece off, pulled it toward me. And I was able to get the chunk of the firewall blanket off as well as that plastic fitting off and that came with it. You guys will notice I did, uh, I actually did end up just cutting the firewall blanket out. Just used a sharp pair of scissors, pulled it out and I uh, was able to get that cut all the way down. At this point behind the passenger side, behind the air condenser, I mean it's pretty thin. It's maybe like six or seven inches in length. So I just cut that, pulled that out. We'll probably end up getting that the same for the rest of the stuff back here and also over on the driver's side I did the same thing I used the uh, trim removal tool remove one of the plastic fittings and kind of worked my way around the hydro boost over there so we're just gonna keep doing that until we get the rest of this blanket out I will say this uh, make sure you wear gloves because this is uh, fiberglass and uh, you don't want to really be itching like that maybe wear a mask too we'll go ahead get the rest of this blanket out and get started on the new one all right guys, you'll see that we have five of these plastic clips. So one, two, three, four, five. That is gonna go around various holes on this firewall blanket. How this is gonna work, these are actually two piece and you guys can actually see some of the old fiberglass in the middle. So if you guys look at the uh, diameter of this pin, it actually won't fit through the clasp of uh, this firewall piece. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna just use the entire clip you know, the full piece and stick it on like that. So we'll put the firewall blanket on the wall where the stud is, and then we'll just put this whole piece kind of on the outside of it. So there are nine holes or nine clasps. Don't count this one on the top. That one doesn't take any hardware. We only have five of these pins. So four of these are gonna have to be used, you know, we're gonna have to take a bolt or not off the firewall and put it back on. So the only one I did not find was actually this one on the bottom underneath the uh, AC canister. Everything else, you know, pretty much lined up where it is. But uh, yeah, so let's actually go ahead and show you the progress we've made. You guys will see that there is no more firewall blanket at all. There's nothing in there. That's because it's all in here. So we're basically just gonna have to fish this firewall blanket kind of back over and behind the motor. Then we'll have to figure out, like I was saying, what bolts are going to have to come out, take the bolt out, put the blanket on, put the bolt back on, and tighten everything down. Oh, and one more thing. 
Before we can actually install the blanket, I need to cut that clip off the firewall. You guys can see it right there. It's right in the middle. And we're probably going to take that bolt out right there now that I'm looking at that. But that clip right there, you're going to need a pair of uh, snips. Cut that flush and because uh, there's no provision for it in the firewall blanket from PPE. All right, guys, you might not be able to see it, but we do have the uh, blanket kind of fish back here. But I was running into a problem with the uh, AC part right here. There's actually a bolt right back behind here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. This is actually kind of on the bottom back behind the air conditioner part. And uh, so yeah, so there's a hidden 10 millimeter bolt there. So that might be something you guys run into. And to get access to this, I did have to remove the uh, splash guard. So I actually already had the driver's side out for a different project. And uh, so I'll, I would recommend take the 15 minutes take both splash guards out and you'll be able to get access to the sides. I would have never known that that bolt was back there. All right, guys, we have the firewall blanket installed. As you can see, it's just black. It's nothing. And it's kind of there back there to be hidden. And uh, it's not really designed to stand out. Now, if you guys want to go crazy, they do have a gold version of this that you can buy. But I just went ahead and went with the black. And like I said, that looks a heck of a lot better than the uh, torn up fiberglass one from the factory. And yeah, so pretty much another good product from PPE. And uh, you know, it's pretty much just a stealth install. So just to make it easier, like I said, you're probably gonna wanna remove both splash guards, especially on the passenger side, cause you wanna have to get access to that part of the air conditioning system, that uh, cylindrical part. And uh, there's a bolt hidden back behind there that I had, you would not see from the top. So And so yeah, this is another pretty simple install from PPE. We've got their trans brace, we've got their PCV stuff. And so far everything that we bought seems to be of pretty good quality and I haven't had any issues. The instructions for this were kind of, uh, kind of lacking if that, I mean it's pretty simple. Take the old one off, put the new one on. I kind of saved some time by just kind of grabbing and ripping the old one out. And uh, if you try to be careful, there's really not any need to. Like I said, I did wear a ventilator, respirator combination, and uh, just so you don't breathe any of that fiberglass in. And you know, you, you kind of figure out which hardware has to go where because when you start putting the firewall blanket back on, you can see, oh, there's a bolt here, there's a tab here, there's a bolt here or nut there, and that's uh, pretty simple to go on. So, and so yeah, that's pretty much be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more truck Corvette SS projects, shop projects. Hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications. And if you guys want to help support the channel, make sure you check out the links down below. I'll have a link to the PPE blanket. And make sure you check out our website, bonecrushersss.com. Thanks, guys. Have a great one.